All right, this is lecture six on installing WebLogic. So before you begin, make sure that you've installed the latest JDK 7. We went over this during the last lecture, and there's also a link in the resources section to an install guide on oracle.com for installing JDK 7 for whatever platform that you're running this course on. Uh, and the reason why we need JDK 7 again is that the generic installer for WebLogic is packaged as a jar file. And we'll need that in order to, to run the installer and to run WebLogic as well. And make sure that you've also downloaded the generic installer for WebLogic, specifically version 12.1.3. You'll find a link in the resources section that will take you out to the WebLogic downloads page where you'll see different versions of WebLogic. Make sure you grab the generic installer. This is packaged as a jar of files I mentioned earlier and should work across just about every platform. Uh, it's supported on Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. For this course, I've created a dedicated working directory named u01 slash udemy. This is where I'm going to install WebLogic and place any WebLogic domains that I create. This is essentially going to be my sandbox for the duration of this course. Uh, you are free to organize your directories however you wish, but for the rest of this course, I'll be referring to this parent directory and other directories by logical name, such as WebLogic Home and Oracle Home. Each one of these will point back to the U01 Udemy directory that I've created. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and install WebLogic. So as you can see here, I'm starting off in my Udemy parent directory. I've moved over the generic installer into this directory. And in order to run it, I'm going to type dava-jar and then the file name for the generic installer. This will execute this Java program. It takes some time to extract and finally open up the installer. So once the Oracle Universal Installer launches, it's going to ask you to specify the inventory home directory. Now, the inventory directory is used to maintain an inventory of all the Oracle products installed on your system. So in this case, I've just specified an or inventory in my Udemy parent directory. And the operating system group is the system group that will have access to this inventory. So the default group for my system is the staff group. But on your system, it could be something entirely different, and that's perfectly acceptable. So once you've defined that, go ahead and click OK. So after you've specified the OR inventory home, the WebLogic server installation wizard pops up. You can go ahead and click Next on this introductory screen. There's nothing of importance here. So this part's important. We're going to specify the Oracle home. Now in this case, I'm using my U01 Udemy parent directory as the root for Oracle home. This is where the core of WebLogic will be installed. So go ahead and click Next. So with the WebLogic 12C installer, you've got the option to install WebLogic Server or just Coherence or both of them with example code. The example code can be used for deploying sample projects to WebLogic. It also includes sample scripts for doing administration type activities as well. So for this course, let's go ahead and pick Complete with Examples and hit Next. On this screen, we're just reviewing all the options that we've that have been selected by WebLogic. You'll see a lot of components here that are part of the core WebLogic offering, so don't be too concerned with this. This is all pretty standard stuff. Once you're done, click Install. Now comes the actual installation part. This can take some time, so go ahead, relax, get a cup of coffee, go grab a drink. Uh, I will fast forward this so you don't have to watch it in real time. Okay, once the installation is complete, you can go ahead and click Next. And make sure you deselect Automatically Launch the Quick Start Wizard and click Finish. And that's it. So as you can see back in my little terminal window here, I can do a listing and find that there's an Oracle directory now in my Udemy parent directory. And so we've just verified that we've installed WebLogic. Congratulations. So the next lecture, we'll talk about creating WebLogic domain now that we've installed WebLogic. And at the end of that course, we'll actually have an up and running server. So stay tuned.